the first step you need to do is write your name on the back nice and big so I can see it. Then you're going to go ahead and flip it over and you're going to set it the landscape way. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line for our branch. So I'm going to start, may start a little bit halfway, a little less than halfway. Kind of go up a little bit. You can have it be a little wavy, but you don't want it to be too wavy. You can also have it straight if you would like. Now, you're going to choose on the bottom or on the top. They have to either have warm colors or cool colors. You cannot be mixing. So again, you can either do warm colors on the bottom and cool colors on the top, or cool colors on the bottom and warm colors on the top. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do warm colors on the bottom. And at your table, you're going to have a box with a variety of different warm colors and cool colors. You're also going to have a little cup of Mod Podge, which is like a glue that dries clear. And that's what we're going to use to stick the tissue paper to our artwork. So I'm going to start we want to keep our brushes pretty clean and you're going to start on the edge and all you're going to do is you're going to paint where you want your tissue paper to go just little sections at a time so I did just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and stick that yellow on go ahead and stick I'm overlapping my pink on let me do another yellow another red and then I'm going to paint on top so it's really nice and secure. Now I'm not done yet, I need to go there's a spot down here. You can go a little bit off the page, that's okay, we are going to cut it and you can do lots of overlapping. Paint another area overlap and you're going to keep going until your entire artwork is covered or the entire bottom is covered in warm colors. Notice how I am placing yellows and reds and pinks kind of all over. I'm not doing any that are perfectly next to each other. So I don't want to do 10 yellows in a row or 10 pinks in a row. But you want to spread out your colors. And also notice how I'm not going above that line. If you do a little bit, that's okay. But you want to try your best to stay on that line. I'm trying to brush. You do not need that much Mod Podge just enough to cover it. If you use too much, it's not going to dry very clear. Notice I'm also keeping this hand clean. I'm never putting this in the glue. I'm laying down my tissue paper without touching the glue. And that's because we don't want the tissue paper in the basket to get messy. So try and keep your hands as clean as you can. If they do get a little messy, go wipe them off. Again, you will do this until you have warm colors on the bottom filling the entire thing. Then once you've finished with the warm colors you can go ahead and start with the cool colors on the top. You don't need to wash your brush. You can go ahead and just start adding cool colors on the top. Again overlapping using violets, blues, light blue, dark blue, 
all the different cool colors that we've talked about. It's okay, see how I went off the page a little bit? That's okay, we don't want any white. paper showing, so we do need to cover it all. Oops, that looks looked like a green, but it's actually yellow, so I don't want it on there. Here's a lime green. Continue it with warm on top, cool on the bottom, or vice versa, as long as you don't mix the two. You're going to continue this until Your entire piece of paper is full of warm colors and cool colors. Next, you can see I've already started this a little bit, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use neutral colors to make our branch. So there's going to be a pile at your table of different neutral colors, browns, grays, whites, blacks torn paper so it looks kind of like a collage you're going to be using Elmer's glue so make sure you make sure you check the top is all clean and then you don't need a ton of glue you can go ahead and put a little dot of glue and you're going to do it on that line where it switches over from warm and cool colors again varying when you put the colors so don't put a bunch of dark browns together or a bunch of whites together but switch them up again not a ton of glue you may need to hold it down a little bit hold them so they're really good on there, they're stuck on there. It's staying the same this same width. So here it's about the same. It doesn't get ever really big or really small. It stays about the same size of branch. Once you are done, you have glued all of your neutral colors down for the branch. Making sure the warm colors are on the top, the cool colors on the bottom. We are going to take, we're going to add a little extra detail to make it sure it looks like a branch. We're going to take a Sharpie, a black Sharpie, and we are just going to kind of go make a line I'm just kind of making a straight line, not necessarily following the jagged edges, but I'm just making a line to make it a little clearer on the top and on the bottom that this is a branch. 
and I do kind of have to pick my pen up a little bit so I don't take off the paint. Then we can add some little lines coming off the top and the bottom to make it really look like a branch. The next last step is we need to cut out our primary and secondary colors and put the glues on our artwork. So you're going to cut out kind of place them where you think you may want them. Make sure we're cutting inside. We don't really want to see any white paper around our birds. If they're a little bit different sizes, that's okay. You can mix them up, warm colors and cool colors. Make sure they all have a space. And then you can go ahead and glue them on there. And you don't need a ton of glue. You don't want to go too close to the edge so that when you press down it comes out of the edges. You are going to have to hold them down maybe about 10 seconds each. Again, a nice little circle, not too close to the edge. Some you may want to be right on the branch, some may be a little bit taller, maybe they have really long legs. And the final step is to add some detail with a sharpie. So we want to make our birds look like birds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trace the outline. So that our birds really stand out, especially those warm colors against the warm or the cool colors against the cool. Then we're going to go ahead and add the wings and the eyes and the beak. And of course you want to add some legs, it has to be standing, so we're going to add some legs so that's standing there.
And the last one. Maybe you want to give some detail. Give some patterns. Fill them in, make them look a little bit more interesting. And if you would like you can go in and add some color to your beak. You don't want to press too hard to make the paint come off. But again you can add some color to your beak. Then you are done with our warming cool color, primary color, our color wheel, study artwork.